Hey, what up Decisive Marketers? So I'm so excited to bring this video to you today because we're going to be talking about how to automatically moderate your YouTube comments and reply to the good comments, right? The good and neutral comments that we get. So we are going to run our YouTube comments that our most recent YouTube comments that comes in. We're going to run it through a tone analysis or tone detector. And then we are going to filter them to positive and a uh, positive neutral or negative comments, right? And then the negative comments will then be deleted from your YouTube channel or videos. And then the positive and negative comments will then be run through an AI to generate a personalized high quality uh, comment and reply to the comment itself right so before i dive into this video be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content here we go so here we are in public connect as uh, you know if you look through all my automation videos i only use public connect right because it's the in my opinion the best zapier alternative out there okay and uh, they have a lifetime plan that is going on right now and i you know you get up to ten thousand tasks which is a lot because uh all triggers and internal actions are free as well so uh you know you're gonna be you you, you can automate a lot of stuff with public connect right so uh the link to public connect is in the video description and we're also going to use this particular ai tool is called shopier right and can do a lot of things it has 80 over different uh ai features built in and all of them can be used uh can be integrated uh, and automated within a particular workflow itself. So the cool thing about Shopier uh, compared to other AI writers that I have reviewed on my channel, pro possibly like 10, 15 over different AI writers that I've reviewed already, the difference between Shopier and the rest is that Shopier is, uh, is one of the few AI tools that has a API right so with the API it can then be integrated into public connect and put into a automated workflow such as this one that we're going to be building right now okay so here we're going to jump in right now so this is uh, public connect you want to create a new workflow this particular workflow is already done so I'm going to explain how this is set up each and every single step right here right so I've named it moderating and replying to YouTube comments. So what I'm going to be doing here is uh, firstly, the trigger is going to be YouTube and the trigger event can be on the channel or a video itself. Okay. So if you have it on a channel, uh, I would say like, why do you want to have two? Uh, you can have two different workflows running for moderation. Okay. So the first one is you, you can have it on the channel where you can have some kind of light moderation and then you can have maybe some controversial video that you have that is generating uh some a lot of hate comments possibly uh, then maybe you'll put some heavier uh moderation on those on those video itself right so what we're going to be doing is uh, i'm just going to be having it on my channel so you want to pick your channel you have to connect to youtube uh which is very simple you just log into your youtube account it will be uh, integrated into public connect instantly right so uh, and then we're going to put one max result so it's going to pull out one uh, one review one comment sorry one rev one comment right so i have pulled out the most recent one which is by uh, john risby right here and the comment is this looks nice impressed by the in integrations and possibilities of automatic replies etc so we're going to use this comment okay so the first step next uh the first action to take is we're going to connect to shopier which is also incredibly easy to integrate just log in to shopier uh and then it will be integrated instantly right so you want to choose uh generate text is the only option right here then choose tone detector right tone detector and then uh so this is for you to detect tone and then in the input uh you want to put in the comment itself 
right which is from youtube so, so the comment uh, make sure you choose text original uh, instead of text display because text original is the full comment itself whereas for text display is just the comment that is going to be shown without the show more link right to expand the comment right so you want to choose text original okay so before you kind of finish up this uh, writer itself you want to open up the api codes page on shopee itself you can just click on this it will open up this page right here and uh, we're going to search for tone general uh, detector right so you only need to fill in the first input the first input is the text to detect tone okay so which is the comment itself and then for two it does not uh, use this input to at all uh, it's just uh, in some writers uh, in in Shopee itself will require two inputs some of them just one right so for this tone detector it only requires one input right and then put in the output language you can put uh, whatever languages that is supported you can click here to check out the supported languages uh, I think they have quite a bit of languages in there uh, I just have English in there right but they have a lot of stuff uh, like Chinese uh, you know French German uh, Japanese you know Russian uh, Thai Ukrainian Vietnamese you know whatever languages uh, you know hopefully that you know, speak is integrated into Shopee itself okay it's already supported right I just have English right so the next step uh, is then to run it through a router and we're going to split the comments into two different routes or two different you know conditions okay so the first one is negative comments so you want to possibly rename this one right here to negative comments okay and then the other one we have neutral or positive comments okay so the first one right here negative comments you can click on set filter and uh, action steps so click on this so your filter is you know uh, you want to select the you know Shopee generate text it will tell you uh, sorry so once you have uh, you know save and send test request you're going to, you're going to get a response and this response is the tone type that it has detected so I have already made a sort of like a table of all the different tones right here uh, this is not a full list I would say uh, I have missed out a couple like the, the next one is pleased so this is one of them I'm going to update this uh, table when I can so over here I have highlighted the ones that I think are closer to a negative uh, tone uh, in the I've highlighted them as in, in red right here so there are a couple of ones right here you have frustrated uh, you know, negative uh, sympathetic insulting resentment resentful disdainful disdain apologetic apology you know a lot of them right here but of course as you can see in this table itself there are some that seems to be negative but I have not placed them in here uh, such as sarcastic cynical uh, you know impatient urgent commanding uh, you know mischievous maybe okay playful amused uh, some of this may be negative okay so uh, but I have not add them in you know like frustration uh, that's one of them as well okay uh, because sometimes you know for example like frustrated uh, this can be just normal because uh, let's say if you are a you are putting up an informational video teaching something or you know you are a you know a company based uh, YouTube channel sometimes you might get comments you know or from people that are actually just genuinely frustrated and they're asking for help maybe like uh, you know no one is responding to me you know I'm they, they and they place a comment in there and and it sounds a little bit frust uh, you know frustrated uh, and what you know it, it may not necessarily be a negative comment but you have to delete it you know uh, but for something like negative this is straightforward a negative comment 
uh, insulting as well. So if they are leaving certain, uh, certain vulgarities in there, it will come up as insulting, right? Uh, resentment, resentful, this may, I would say most of the time it would be negative, okay? Uh, sympathetic, that could also uh, be negative. It depends on your channel itself, right? So let's say if you're running a charity, uh, you know, charity channel, uh, or you are, you know, helping people, uh, you know, and and you feature certain uh, less fortunate people, maybe in your video itself, you may get sympathetic comments, but they are not necessarily negative. But if you have it in a business channel, it's like you're not talking about anything like that, but they leave sympathetic comments. It is likely that is a sarcastic uh, comment, right? Or maybe you run a music channel, you're, you're singing, you're, and, and someone says, uh, you know, I feel sorry for you, your, you know, your voice is, is terrible, something like that. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's sarcastic, but also sympathetic, uh, you know, and that is negative right so you you have to understand your commenters you have to understand your channel subscribers uh you know how they comment uh in your channel right so then you will have you would know like what kind of tones to put in and specify them as negative but one thing for sure insulting negative uh, maybe anger as well uh, although anger could be directed at someone else, not you, right? Uh, so that that could possibly not be negative as well. But for example, ne uh, insulting, negative, that those are straightforward. Uh, I would say negative comments, right? Uh, or maybe even hateful comments. In fact, so we're gonna uh put that in right here. So I'm gonna put the negative. Okay, so you want to choose uh, from Shopier response itself for the tone, right? So it says please, so, uh, but I'm just going to filter down for insulting and negative tones, right? Once you're done, click on save and send test request. Okay, and then uh, of course we are going to get uh, condition is false because it's not these two, right? Because this is a positive comment. So you can then set delete a comment right here and you can put in the comment id which is this one right here it says id okay so this is the comment id and uh you know youtube is going to automatically you know pebbly is going to trigger youtube to automatically delete that negative comment for you All right so that is you know moderating the comments already so the next step is then to look at the other side of the flow which is the neutral or positive comments right so over here we're going to filter down and it's just going to be the opposite of what we have done with the negative right so in the negative i put in contains insulting or contains and uh you know this is negative right, so i'm gonna put negative in here okay so the next step is uh, then uh, because Shopier, uh, so we're going to run it through an AI to generate a reply to the comment itself. But the but for Shopier itself, it only accepts up to 5,000 uh, characters. So what you're going to be doing is then you can actually, uh, you can put this in here or you can put this in front, you know, it's up to you just right before the router okay so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be truncating the text to a maximum of 5000 characters so that is not going to uh, create a you know uh, an error whenever you have someone who leaves a like a big chunk of text to you right so you can put uh, you can so you want to put in the comment in here, put in the maximum length, right? And then just save and send test request. You're going to get the response with the output that is being truncated, right? So it's just going to cut off at 5,000 characters in there. Uh, of course, you may not, I, I, I'm not sure how many characters do YouTube comments uh, support, but, uh, you know, we just going to put this in here just to be safe but if you if you do get like 
if you do uh so the downside is if you do get a lot of uh, a, a huge chunk of text for your comment uh it will not get everything into shopee itself right so uh then the output may be affected but uh you know that's that's the only limitation with the uh with shopee itself right five thousand characters which i think is a lot already okay so the next one is we are going to pull out the the video itself okay the reason why we are pulling out the video is so that we can give more context to the to shopee as input to generate the ai output right so you just got to pull the video right so you just click on uh, snippet video id <coughs> okay which is actually right here snippet video id so you can put that in it's going to pull out the video so uh so the comment that i got is actually on this particular uh video itself which is shopier uh review okay next what we're going to be doing is we are then going to send it into shopier to uh create a reply right so there are two different ones that you can choose from uh, the first one is email reply I choose to use email reply uh, although it will the output is gonna come up looking a little bit like an email but like it looks like this right you know looks kind of like a email itself but I would say that the email reply has more flexibility uh, as compared to the uh, call the other other writer which is called comment reply Okay, so I'm just going to show you how it looks like. Okay, so you have a comment reply as well. So before you kind of fill this up, uh, you want to check the API page, which is right here. Uh, so the customer comment reply you can put in the company name and the comment to reply to so we can try this out as well and we're going to tr create something similar and we can kind of take a look at the output itself okay <coughs> so i'm going to put in uh, i am a youtuber uh, who reviews softwares from different SaaS companies reviews softwares from different SaaS companies my channel name is this okay and then we're gonna put in the input which is this one so I'm gonna put hi Henry this and then john uh, i'm gonna put the, the the name of the commenter right here let's see what we get okay and you could choose either the email reply or the comment reply both uh you know right so this, this is the one right here which I think it's not uh, very very good okay so something like this I think this one works as well uh, you know the output looks decent right please feel free to subscribe to my channel uh, okay I think this is these are all good 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 replies so you can use uh, email replies or the comment reply right here okay so this one is hi john thank you for your kind words i'm glad you like the integrations and automation features keep an eye out for upcoming reviews to see all the new all the exciting new softwares i review okay so you can put that in as well okay uh 
and then maybe we can even personalize it a little bit more by pulling in the title of the video let's see what we get here okay so i think this is nice as well so i guess i'm going to be using this instead maybe i didn't sort of uh, you know program it very nicely so let me just remove this i'm going to delete this okay i'm going to delete this step as well okay so email reply is similar it's just that sort of like in input one is in input two let me just kind of show you right here right so it's email to reply to then the answer details okay so uh, so so the difference between uh, comment reply and email reply is that uh, this is sort of you can't really direct what you want to say but with email reply you can sort of direct the the reply right so so you can see like oh please uh subscribe to my channel please check out my other videos you know you can put that into the answer details okay but of course you can try to make it even better so maybe what we can do is we can even put in the name ask this person to check out my other videos okay let's see what we get gonna try again <clears throat> I think the output is much better now right so try to use uh, if it's you know your own personal channel try to use like I mine you know my that will make it more you know something like this I think it's awesome uh, it's not it's not foolproof but it's I think it's pretty good right so this is what I put in I am a youtuber who reviews softwares from different SaaS companies my channel name is decisive marketer ask John Rizvi to check out my other videos as well okay so I try and put in some call to actions you know in a sense and then over here is hi Henry then the comment on this video and then his name right so it's more personalized it puts in the name like john in there as well so the last thing that we're going to do is lastly uh, of course we're going to put up the reply okay so just okay so what we're going to do is uh, reply to comment connect <coughs> and click on my channel lastly the reply text we're going to grab it from shop here right here okay and then the comment ID is uh, all you need to do is scroll down it's called ID right here right and once you're done just save and send test request uh, I'm not gonna send this because I already have <laughs> tested this out it's live up there but you know that's what you do right and then you can get a comment uh, let me just kind of show you the comment uh, I think I have the latest comment right here somewhere let me just pull out okay so this is the this is the latest comment right here All right looks nice impressed by blah, blah blah hi John All right so this is with the email reply so I guess I'm gonna switch to the comment reply feature so I mean it works as well so that's all uh, there is to it, right? So you can moderate your negative comments and also generate, uh, you know, comment replies for the positive and neutral ones. So I guess that's all I have to share about 
you know public connect and Shopee to create this entire workflow all right it's not it's not very complex but you know it's it's i think it's it's easy it's not difficult for anyone to set this up as well as long they kind of follow the steps in my video all right so that's all i have to share about this workflow itself moderating and replying to youtube comments with ai so that's all i have i'll see you in my next video uh if you uh if you know anyone who could benefit from shopier and public connect please share this video with them if you enjoy uh learning about this do give me a thumbs up if you have any questions feel free to comment below i'll see you in my next video bye bye